situated in the eastern part of India, covering three biogeographic provinces. The state of Orissa is bestowed with various natural ecosystems like agrarian, forests, wetlands and grasslands. About 33.5% of the state's geographical area is covered with forests and is credited with five of the 16 major forest types occurring in India. Orissa is the second largest non-timber forest producing state in India and 37% of its population depends on non-timber forest produce like leaves, tubers, seeds, fruits, mushrooms and medicinal plants for their day-to-day -day requirements. And up to 40% of the income of the rural people comes from selling of such forest products. To protect and conserve the fragile natural resources, the state government has created 19 wildlife sanctuaries one national park and one proposed national park. One biosphere reserve and two tiger reserves in the state. These protected areas comprise 16.01% of the total forest area and 5.37% of the total geographical area of Orissa. Natural barriers like the mangroves and their associate, the sand dunes, the seaweeds and sea grasses, the screw pines, the kazoo arenas and the cashew plantations together form a coastal bioshield and protect the Orissa coast from natural calamities. The state is an abode for over 5174 species of plants and fungi, including 2800 species of higher plants together with 300 species of grasses, 153 species of orchids, 178 species of pteridophytes, 22 species of gymnosperms, 63 species of mangroves and their associates, 24 species of seaweeds, 7 species of sea grasses and 17 carnivora species about 300 species of bryophytes, 275 species of lichens, and above 1,000 species of fresh, marine and brackish water algae contribute to the cryptogam diversity. 30 species of wild edible mushrooms, above 450 species of macro fungi, 300 species of wild relatives of crop plants, and 500 species of medicinal plants also occur in Odisha. Around 117 plant species, including 41 medicinal plant species of the state, are considered as threatened. And 24 species are endemic to Odisha. Out of which, 7 species each are orchids and grasses while Sarka Asoka and Simplocos racemosa come under critically endangered category. Litsi glutinosa, Roxulum indicum, Blepharispermum subsicile and Ambelia ribes are becoming endangered in the state. To protect the medicinal plants of Odisha, six medicinal plant conservation areas have been created. Mahendragiri Hills, Deomali Hills, Sunabeda Wildlife Sanctuary, Rabina Reserve Forests, Simlipal Biosphere Reserve. Karlapat Wildlife Sanctuary and tracts of Nayagar and Kandamal districts are key habitats for the endemic plants of Odisha, like Brachistelma Mahendragiriensis, Tripogon Mahendragiriensis, Eria Meghasaniensis and Cycus Nayagarensis. Gandhamardhan Hills. Mm -hmm. 
पीले बिहार सारे ठीक रखवा मंदसारु गोर्ज मलयगिरी हिल्स बारबरा आरएफ प्रधानपट आरएफ खंडधर हिल्स एंड कपिलाश वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी आर सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट लैंडस्केप्स फॉर थ्रेटन मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स वाइल भीतर कानिका एंड चिलिका आर डेजिग्नेटेड एज टू रामसर साइट्स ऑफ द स्टेट भीतर कानिका इज नोन टू बी द वर्ल्ड्स सेकंड लार्जेस्ट मैनग्रोव डेस्टिनेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्पीशीज डाइवर्सिटी after papua new guinea chilika lake receives more than 8 lakh migratory birds every year including greater flamingos spot billed pelicans garganese pacific golden plovers and fulvous whistling ducks the faunal resources comprise of 114 species of mammals which 103 are wild and 11 domestic 537 species of birds and 131 species of reptiles Twenty-nine species of amphibians, about eight hundred species of Pisces, five hundred and eighty-four species of crustaceans, three hundred and sixty-six species of mollusks, two hundred and fifty-nine species of Coleoptera, ninety-eight species of Diptera. 265 species of hymenoptera 112 species of spider about 300 species of lepidoptera one hundred and two species of odonata and thirty one species of isopteran A total of 65 globally threatened faunal species are reported to occur in the state, which include 26 species of birds, 20 species of mammals, 18 species of reptiles, and one species of fish. Local communities have been engaging themselves in protecting many plant and animal taxa across different parts of the state. पोथो पोथो मराका एटा नाडा गछ एटा निया पुडीले आ एटा लगेले बे भलो बाय कंजर्वेशन ऑफ ब्लैक बक इन भेटनोई बालीपादर ऑफ बुगुडा ब्लॉक इन गंजम प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ एंडेमिक महासीर फिश ऑफ महानदी एट हुमा एंड मानेश्वर इन संबलपुर conservation of tortoise in gajapati and conservation of freshwater turtles in champeshwar atgar and gola in ganjam are some of the examples the three mass nesting beaches of olive ridley sea turtles including gahirmatha devi and rushikolya located along the orissa coast are of great significance living fossils such as the two species of horseshoe crab tachypleus gigas and carcino scorpius rotundicorda are widely found along the orissa coast which may have existed even before the arrival of dinosaurs three elephant reserves eight important bird areas Several thousands of sacred groves of the state have all immensely contributed towards wildlife conservation in Orissa. Endangered Irrawaddy dolphins 
and lakhs of migratory birds of Chilika Lake. Saltwater Crocodile Crocodilus porosus of Bhitar Kanika Muggers of Simlipal and Gharials of Tikarpara have international repute. Places like Bhitar Kanika, Chilika, Nalbana and Mangalajodi have been literal havens for birds during winters and numerous winter migratory species visit them annually. Besides these, shorebirds along the coast, different decapods, dragonflies, damselflies, butterflies and sand wasps in sand dune sites are of utmost wildlife importance. The diverse agroclimatic zones of the state favors cultivation of several crop varieties of which rice, pulses, oil seeds, jute, sugarcane, coconut, wheat, small millets, bajra, arhar, groundnut, castor, linseed, cashew and turmeric are of great significance. Several varieties of turmeric from Kandhamal district Millets of Koraput and maize of Gajpati district are accorded special importance in national and international market. Tuber crops like taro, elephant foot yam, greater yam and sweet potato cultivated in the tribal belts of Orissa are the major source of livelihood. Being the secondary center of origin of cultivated rice, Orissa has the distinction of possessing about 15,000 traditional rice varieties out of 50,000 found across the world. Acknowledging years of efforts of the tribal people in conserving 130 varieties of indigenous rice, Koraput district was declared as a globally important agricultural heritage system by the Food and Agricultural Organization in 2012. To document the biological resources of the state. The board has taken up biodiversity studies across 14 wildlife sanctuaries. This is Alfonso Madrasa Patna, Odiara Kogonti Kogonti, endemic to Odisha, or threatened without. Microorganisms are one of the key components of biodiversity yet remain highly neglected. They are omnipresent and most of them are extremely beneficial while others cause diseases in humans, animals and plants. From agriculture to industries, microbial diversity significantly contributes towards human well-being. Around 41 different indigenous breeds of domestic animals and birds including the Ghumsuri cattle, Shilika buffalo, Ganjam goat and Kendrapara sheep are designated breeds for Orissa. About 22 such breeds have been registered in the National Bureau of Animal Genetic Resource, New Delhi. These indigenous breeds need to be protected and conserved to develop new and more improved varieties of domesticated animals in the future. To advise the state government in any matter related to the conservation of biodiversity of the state, its sustainable use and fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising out of the uses of biological resources, the Orissa Biodiversity Board was created in the year 2009 under the Department of Forest and Environment, Government of Orissa and the Orissa Biological Diversity Rules were formulated in 2012. In special habitats, on lesser known groups of plants and animals. The research results have been shared with the respective forest divisions and recommendations made to incorporate the research results in the management and working plans of that division. Mandasaru in Raikia block of Gandhamal district has been declared as the first biodiversity heritage site of Odisha. Understanding the importance of nature for our own well-being can help us love and conserve nature, thereby protecting, preserving and restoring biodiversity. The board is in the process of spreading awareness at all levels regarding nature, biodiversity 
and human linkage across the state. Nevertheless, it's just the beginning and miles remain to go.